What's up guys, this is the Reddit Iceberg. It starts at the top with more commonplace information, and as we proceed further down the chart, we'll go over more obscure information and lesser known hypothetical theories. I will be adding additional entries that weren't on the iceberg, but I do feel they are important. And shout out to Mary who suggested this Reddit Iceberg. If you guys want to see a specific iceberg covered, let me know in the comments. So let's get into it. Reddit.com Reddit is a social news website and forum where content is socially curated and promoted by site members voting up or down on its content. Subreddits On Reddit there are particular forums dedicated to particular topics. There are a number of different subreddits over a variety of subjects. Karma This could be considered your account's score on Reddit. It equals the amount of upvotes against your downvotes for the contributions you have made to the site r slash this is the subdomain used to find the subreddit of your choice r slash funny for instance u slash this is the subdomain that leads to your username of choice bots bots are programs that can monitor posts comments and other users actions and autonomously respond to them one popular type of bot can be used to remind you at a certain point perhaps a year from when the post was published. The front page of the internet. This is the famous slogan for Reddit. It was given to Reddit by an investor of the company, and it was given to it because of its vast library of information. Reposts. When someone makes a post linking to content that's already been shared on the site, it's called a repost. This is the primary method people use to farm upvotes and karma. Crosspost. When someone posts something that they've found from another subreddit, they will often designate it as a cross-post to credit the original redditor that shared it. Cake Day This is the nickname given to the anniversary of the creation of someone's reddit account. On your cake day, a little slice of cake is displayed next to your username. Tags Some subreddits require that you attach a tag to your posts that is used to help others identify the purpose of the posts. Perhaps it could be a meme tag or a serious tag. NSFW This is an acronym for Not Safe for Work. It's used to warn other Redditors that the content may not be appropriate for all settings. SNU This is Reddit's alien mascot. It can take on any costume or theme and can be seen in a variety of different ways. Old Reddit this is the older Reddit layout on the desktop computer. It's no longer the default layout, but it is still accessible. Awards Redditors can give each other awards as a way to recognize and react to their contributions. Posts and comments that have been awarded are sometimes highlighted and the recipients of these awards receive special perks like ad-free browsing and access to exclusive subreddits. RPAN this is the shorthand or call sign for Reddit's live broadcasting service. Avatars You can customize your own SNU, making a unique avatar that represents you and your account's identity. Chat This is a simple direct message used as a chat service rather than the direct message email style of communication. I read it on Reddit. This is in reference to how it got its namesake, having read it on Reddit. Deleted. This is what appears when a user has deleted their account after leaving a comment. Removed. If a user's post has been removed by a moderator, this is what will appear. Lounge. Users that have Reddit Premium gain access to this exclusive subreddit known as r slash lounge. Imager. This is a site that allows users to upload images. Redditors will often link to imager pages to share content. Snoo. This is short for what's new. It's the reason why the snoo has its name. Rick Astley gets Rick rolled. In one momentous occasion, Rick Astley, the iconic Rick roller himself, posted on Reddit with a newly discovered photo. Amid the sea of responses for the entertainer, you slash the malleable duck was able to post this. The following response was the real Rick Astley throwing up the emoji, admitting to the world that he had been Rick rolled himself. This even went on to be covered in Time Magazine on top of enormous kudos and positive reception from the Reddit community. Mascots 
These are the representatives for subreddits, typically themed around the topic or subject at hand. Trophies. Unlike awards that are given by Redditors to Redditors, trophies are more prestigious awards that are bestowed to users from Reddit themselves. For example, a user may earn a translator trophy for excellent language translations through a subreddit. Or they could be awarded the white hat trophy for spotting a bug on the site and reporting it. You slash no thing. This user is actually one of the founders of Reddit who was involved in a bit of a site-wide drama some time back. Secret Santa. Much like certain organizations and families, Reddit has a secret Santa service between its users. Grumpy Cat. This notorious meme image originated on Reddit. Hidden Votes. This is in reference to the short duration after a post's initial publishing where the vote counter is not revealed. Premium. This is the paid Reddit service in which you unlock ad-free service among a few other additional features and perks. We did it Reddit. There was a scene where Reddit identified someone as the Boston Bomber. Unfortunately, it was a misidentification. In response to this, several Redditors said this infamous phrase that has since become a meme. Upvote color. The color of the Reddit upvote button was in hot debate for a while as many people said it was red and many said it was orange. When further analyzed, this Redditor found out it was about as close as it gets to a neutral orange and red mix. In fact, it is orange red. R slash place. This massive April Fool's Day event allowed users to color a public 1000 by 1000 grid. You could only choose one of 16 colors and you were limited to coloring one pixel every 5 to 10 minutes. Naturally, communities worked together to leave their marks on the piece. It lasted for 72 hours and had a tremendous amount of organization worldwide. This is what the final image ended up as. Exclusive subs. Many subreddits are privated on invitation access only. Some of them even require certain achievements, like r slash century club, that requires 1000 link or comment karma, which takes time. Poop knife. This was a meme post on Reddit where a user details his upbringing, where the user and their family had particularly large bowel movements and required a knife to cut them into flushable pieces. The user goes on to account the story of being at a friend's house and embarrassing themselves by requesting his poop knife to which others laughed as nobody knew what it was. BLM logo. The orange reddit logo was changed to be black in support of the BLM movement. April Fools. This is in reference to reddit's April Fools Day events where they'll host various games and events like r slash place that we covered earlier. Xbox Live and PUBG. If you link your Xbox or PlayerUnknown Battleground accounts to your Reddit account, you will have unlocked a trophy. Carl H. This was a notorious coder on Reddit who became renowned for helping a lot of people throughout the website. It was eventually discovered that this person had allegedly kidnapped a child. June 23rd, 2005. This is Reddit's date of birth, otherwise known as its cake day. Throwaways. This is the name of a junk or spam account that is used solely to post or engage without tying it to its user's main account. Painting Guy. This is in reference to the image that continuously resurfaces throughout Reddit where a man is painting himself. Old Reddit Switcheroo. When someone makes a comment or a post involving two different subjects, Someone will intentionally mistake which one of the two subjects the rest of the sentence is in reference to. This is known as the old reddit switcheroo, and it even has its own subreddit. r slash layer. This was a subreddit similar to r slash place, but instead of pixels, users could draw pictures on a giant canvas. This had multiple seasons, and it was done in partnership with Adobe. Most downvoted comment. This was a response from EA when someone was questioning why they didn't have the Darth Vader unlocked in Star Wars Battlefront 2, requiring additional microtransactions to unlock the character they wanted to play. Unobtainable awards. These are trophies that were only obtainable during specific events, like old April Fool's Day events. Many of these will never be able to be acquired again. You slash yay video games. 
This user was replying to a thread on a video game in unintelligible English. After two requests for clarification, the user replied with over 4,000 comments, all having some variation of their same repeated phrase. Many of the comments also led to strange unexplained images as well. There was a massive investigation into this user. After a sizable amount of research, people came to the conclusion that the user had chronic fatigue syndrome and was simply trying to cope with various narcotics and pharmaceuticals. Dig. This was essentially Reddit before Reddit. It offered many of the same features and elements, however one day they implemented a site-wide redesign. Users of the site were very unhappy with the redesign and became very vocal about it. The site developers failed to change or fix the issues and users began flooding Dig with links to Reddit. This was the start of a massive shift over to Reddit and was the catalyst for its growth and popularity. I also choose that guy's dead wife. On r slash ask reddit, someone made a thread asking redditors if they could sleep with any woman who would it be. One mournful redditor commented saying that it would be his wife who passed away 9 years earlier. And naturally the internet being the internet, someone replied, I also choose that guy's dead wife. The Downing Street Memo This was the very first post on reddit. It wasn't anything special, it just linked to its namesake but it has gone down in history either way. 9 slash 5 This was a conspiracy for an apocalypse on this date. It quickly took on meme status. LCQP This is in reference to Lake City Quiet Pills, which was a website that hosted amateur nude photos, but hidden in the code of the site was hidden messages. This was discovered after someone made a post about their friend passing away, mentioning the website in passing. This evolved into a large conspiracy involving a number of hidden messages and aliases of people involved in the operation. Banned Subs Certain subreddits are deemed as hosting illegal or highly controversial content and discussion. Some of them end up getting shut down by Reddit, banning them from the site. Removedit.com This is a website that allows people to find removed posts and comments from the website. U slash Jason in Hell This user accounts of his past on r slash relationship advice. He details his wife cheating on him. Unfortunately, after the divorce, the wife murdered their two kids and tried to take her own life afterwards. Fake Users In the beginning of Reddit's lifespan, the developers created a number of fake users to make posts. This would give new users the illusion of a population already using the website. Original Features When Reddit was originally launched, it did not include the ability to comment or create your own subreddits. Aaron Schwartz This was the name of one of the co-founders of Reddit. He downloaded a bunch of academic journals and articles with the intention of freely distributing them across the web to educate others. Obviously, publishers didn't approve of this, so he was arrested and convicted and sentenced to 35 years in prison. Before he could be taken to serve his sentence in 2013, he took his own life. U slash fifth and U slash fourth. Ironically, U slash fifth was the fourth account to be created on Reddit, and u slash fourth was the fifth account to be created. Hello from blank. This is a common expression heard throughout the site where users will say a phrase with their home location, sending greetings from their foreign land. Mother Horse Eyes This was an alternate reality game, or ARG, where a user told a story throughout Reddit. Other Redditors took it upon themselves to create a subreddit dedicated to the user and deciphering through and piecing together the user's posts to understand the deeper meaning of the story that they were slowly revealing. July 18th, 2002 Though Reddit was not created until 2005, this was apparently the date that the idea of Reddit had formed. Sunil Tripathi this was the name of the man that Reddit misidentified as the Boston Bomber. This was referenced in the We Did It Reddit entry listed earlier. Spez can edit other people's comments. The CEO of Reddit naturally has special privileges, one of them being the ability to edit people's comments. 
There have been several events of significance where Spez has gone on the record to admit and apologize for these actions for various reasons. r slash jailbait This is a banned subreddit that featured questionable or suggestive photos of underage girls. Entities This was an ARG that was done through a series of posts on r slash AMA where users of fame, success, or notoriety will typically answer questions Redditors have for them. There have been a number of posts from Redditors claiming to be possessed by magical animals in effort to take over the world. r slash A858 This is the name of the user and subreddit that featured posts of seemingly random characters in an empty subreddit for almost a year before anybody even noticed. Soon the subreddit gained popularity and attempts to solve what people were discovering to be puzzles. Eventually, the user did an AMA within his own coded language and the crafty Redditors who developed a tool to translate it. The creator said the meaning behind it all would be revealed when it was discovered. He also said that only one puzzle had actually been solved and nobody even noticed. Eventually, there was an announcement post that declared the event was over. The subreddit went private and it's more or less been left to speculation for its true purpose now. Most people seem to think it was a number station or a recruitment tool similar to Cicada 3301. Crybaby Lane This was a piece of media, an old film shown on Nickelodeon during a Halloween special. It was said to be so startling that they never aired it again and locked it away. When requested, Redditors basically said that it was gone forever. But you slash James of N reached deep into their vault and was able to find the requested what was thought to be lost media.